and yeah. How? You know, I really miss the day when the melee attack instant down, uh, like, the basic enemies, the grunts. Because I like that it just costs two. Also, they were having an incredibly bad day. is breaking you free, but we'll have to fight our way out. Listo! Vámonos, amigos! We're getting out of here! I need some more ammo. Hey, it's done. So the sniper rifle comes with uh, a little auto rocket. Of course it does. Is just it has it just because. Oh come on. Got a group to the entrance. Send someone to extract them. Listo. Extraction inbound. All right. I have ammo. I want more ammo. Ah, there's a weapon crate. Buried. I don't have any. A crust jazz goodness. Oh, Let's get more RPG. Let's go. Ooh. Gotta make sure I don't blow myself up. Or not blow myself up. Just ram into the wall at 60 miles per hour. So this was the one again. Move. Your determination is impressive to try to drive something into that. Take your ammo while you, you, you take a very safe nap on your bike. The safest of naps. Gosh, I hope my own dude don't have trouble navigating this place.
right, people, it's time to free yourselves. Come on. Oh, gracias, gracias. We owe you so much. Later. Vámonos. Right, okay. Okay. Sure, this is just enough clearance. All right. One black hand unit. Stand by for more intel. Okay. Okay. Just run. Just push that. Adios. It's gonna crash back down to Earth, which will be great. Is it fun to realize yeah, without the weight of a supernova on my back? Hey, yeah. Hey, come on. Let's blow up this shit. Also, my my good good boys, please please don't blow yourselves up. Okay, you're you're fairly you're fairly invincible. They're not invincible, just you you have how far. <laughs> uh. No. Be gone. You're somewhere. I don't think that can blow up this kind of building, but like it'd be great if it could. And honestly, speaking of that, kind of makes me wish I was playing uh, Red Faction Grill of it. No, maybe in next time. Or, or some other time. Come on.
Thank you. <laughs> My incredibly invincible <laughs> peeps for surviving that. That's the last group, Sargento. Evac inbound. Hey, Rico, this is a real revolution. See or no? That's the idea. Good work, people. Calling off. And now, if I can mini right, by clearing that, we can advance and secure the. Yeah, they'll. Uh, <laughs> ah, I'm having trouble pronouncing that. Quebec, Quebec, yeah, Tierra de, Tierra del Quebec region. And yes, by causing more chaos, you earn more squads, which are now awaiting orders in reserve. Yep. And you can lower the cost of regions, even to, I think you can lower it to be even in the negatives, like you gain squads if you can uh, secure, like, surrounding regions. Apparently there's a surveillance... Oh. No sniping. All right. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's do something fun. This has uh, blown up and destroyed me. Another one of those spies. I was surprised I lived. Down. Gracias, Rico. That's fine, dude. That's part of the reason why I was like, you know what, I kind of want to stream this game. Because it's 
it's just kind of dumb. It's dumb fun. It's just, you, you just shut off your brain and you're like, hee hee, explosions. And jumping boats, because that's a thing boats can do. Boats can do this. All boats are capable of uh, jumping like a jumping bean. very upset with me. Adios. Wanting to advance the plot and I should uh, leave my boat. Can I just warp here? Uh, technically, I can't yet. I forgot that I'll unlock that pretty soon enough. I think. While I'm just doing one destruction, while on the way of trying to actually do the plot. Um, the fun thing I've noticed about vehicles in this game is that they tend to be more durable while you're in them. Like, which is honestly a really good thing, that they were like, no, it, this is obviously a game about being an action hero. You should be, you know, like, you should be allowed to do cool action hero things and survive more than normally. So it's just, you just tend to survive a lot more than, like, whatever vehicle you're in should be able to. And I can advance. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have any uh, requisite uh, factory crate. Uh, yeah. Nice. What? Okay, that's friendly. Oh! Oh, it's one of those. Do I have the better? I swear I had another gun. No, I don't. Balloons. Oh, sorry. Sorry, comrade. Helicopter inbound. Heading to AO. Alright, let's 
do a mission before anything else explodes. Or before anything else explodes when I don't want it to. Moving out? We're ready to go, but Izzy's off getting us some intel from a guy in Kuya. Can you make sure she gets to the outpost safely? Can't wait to meet her. Hey, Nico, good chance to test our new pilots, no? Sure. Chevre, go on, keep on a call. Okay, now it lets me access the menu. And yeah, the thing with pilots is that you can fast travel with them and whatnot, but they have a cooldown timer. That, if you get more factory and production sites, that cooldown, um, becomes uh, quicker. And also, you, they can deliver, like, gear, like, weapons Mira, or Sargento, vehicles to you, or, um, yes. giant boulders, potentially. He's waiting for you on the roof of the Batista building. On my way. There she is. <sighs> nice to meet you. Buenas, hardware. No chopper? Figured you'd bring one. Oh, think I know where to get one. Alright, and this is... Yeah, I forgot tutorializing. The drops. All the different weapons you can... Oh, yeah. This is... guess the direction doesn't matter that much, but I should probably make it a bit far away so I don't uh, get crushed by it. Look out below! But yeah, um, I guess when I first started playing this game, I re kind of realized gonna work out fine. that it kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid V, but more bombastic. And, like, you know, in that game, you can assault bases or whatnot, and, you know, do stealth. But here, you just kind of blow things up, but, you know, you can still call in for, dip, uh, you know, for supply drops and all that Let's good go, stuff. Right with you. Like, I know that's a bit superficial, like Metal Gear Solid 5, but kind of reminds me of the gameplay a bit. Listo, just got here. Sending you coordinates. Nice city. Poor city. Always been that way. Before he moved to his castle in the sky, Espinosa headquarters was in Huevavos. All the money is there. So, people in Kuya can buy other ways, like selling black market information to the Army of Chaos. What's the intel? Mira's eyes only. Oye, turn on the radio. Need music. You read my mind. Catalina, Gracias. This looks like the spot. And I can help myself. I had to turn on the music a bit. Let's roll. Thanks for the lift, hardware. Anytime. Mira, we're here. Bien, I'm in the control center. Come on up. She's hauling your ass.
Good to go. How's it going, Easy? It's going. We're pushing forward, but none of that matters unless we can disable Yappa's defenses. Easy and I have been working on that. All of these facilities house prototype weather cores, and each core is connected to Yappa's defense network. Mm, Towers with artillery. See, si. if we can plant a virus in those weather cores, we can send a message up the network, causing malfunctions in the tower's machinery. Everything breaks, boom, no more artillery. Then we just have the blizzard. One thing at a time, Mira. Tell me more about the facilities housing the weather cores. This is Sona Uno. It's protected Mira, by a sandstorm. Gracias, Izzy. What's that? Information on a place called La Masmora. It's a prison hidden in the desert. Something Gabriela said. I think my uncle Lanza might still be alive. And if he is, he's being held there. And I. He can help us get into Zona Uno? He helped your father build Project Iapa. Pira, if he's still alive, I'll find him. Here is Zona Trace. According to Easy, it's but not I have an old friend, network. Cesar. He has a theory that might help us. Then let's hear what he has to say. And this is Sona Dos. We don't know much about that facility. Are you ever going to answer this? I'm not an agency man anymore. Rico, those coordinates are close. Look. Ay, that can't be a coincidence. I'll check it out. I'm sending you all the data you'll need to your AR lens. Good. Let's start hitting our scar where it hurts. <sighs> yeah, I went. I'm kind of a sucker for action movie plots. You know, they're not the most nuanced things or anything. It, it kind of hurts that this game is very much an action movie and a big old ex bombastic. Uh, yes. Uh, all right, Black Hand Sky Striker. You can now equip the Black Hand Sky, Sky Striker. The Sky Striker is outfitted with a jet propulsion pack and light missiles. Upgrade the Sky St Striker by successfully performing wingsuit stunts. Manly unequip or reequip the, uh, the Sky Striker from the customized menu. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you just need junk food. And I, like, grew up with, like, action movies. And where would it be? Uh, customize right and I think Scorpio gear yeah and oh yeah from the customize you know here's the kind of default outfit here's like from just cause 2 and just cause 3 I believe and some of the stuff unlocked but yes Oh yes, and also if you equip the Sky Striker, uh, wingsuit related feats will not be counted, which is just like, you know, like, uh, I think it doesn't really unlock anything, it's just like, oh, you've, you know, gone, uh, this fly, you know, you fly this far, or you cause yada yada yada, uh, tracking thing. I think there's an achievement for getting, or beating the, uh, dev scores in each category, but like, whatever. Whatever. Actually, wingsuit. Chaos. Uh, I know I've unlocked quite a few. Hmm. Here is least no. Alright, then again, I don't know if starting over... No, I think I saw this one, so I'll just rock it. Oh yes, but yeah, for some reason the cutscenes in this game have this weird, like, deal where some of them feel like half-baked. 
at best, you know, where it's like the lip syncing is off, the visuals are off in some weird way. It's weird. I forgot what button to press. Ah. Okay. I'm forgetting. I'm not forgetting, I'm just can't have right. Anyway, let's Helicopter do... Heading to AO. Oh yeah, come on! He's in a helicopter! Let's see. Yeah, that one. Actually... Enemies in a helicopter. Where is that wind signal? Oh, there it is. Let's do that one real quick. <laughs> this has a horn. Anyway... Yeah, no, I... Okay. Alright, I can do this one. I just need to have a better setup. Ah. do like all of the uh, little side quest deals but like I definitely want to upgrade the the sky striker it is very much worth it because being able to have rockets and jet propulsion on their wingsuit is very nice Ooh, And there is like more than enough wingsuit challenges to be able to, like, you don't need to do all of them to upgrade the wingsuit, you just need to do like 30 at most. And there's way more than that, so it's, it's like, it's fine. Oh no, I forgot to use the missiles, but... Yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty useful for widespread, like, like explosive damage, they're not the most powerful thing. Tom Sheldon. Well, I guess you got my message. It's all clear, Mita. I'm on my way. Who's that? Why are you here, Sheldon? When you went dark after Medici, I figured I'd look through some of your old files. See where you might end up. It turns out your dad was working with Oscar Espinoza back in the day. Something called Project Iapa. What do you know about Iapa? I know there's lots of buzz about Solis at the agency these days. Talk of weather modification technology, strategic atmospherics. Of course, once the higher-ups heard that I was looking at those IAPA files, I ended up on administrative leave. Guess I'm not the only one who doesn't trust Tom Sheldon. I know you're looking to take out IAPA, Rico. I've already done some of the legwork. You screwed me over more than once in Medici. I don't want your help, Sheldon. Well, you're gonna need it. I did some snooping around Zona Dos. <clears throat> Turns out that place is constantly surrounded by a nasty lightning storm. Fried poor Annabelle here. 
That seems pretty suspicious to have a standing lightning storm like that, don't you think? This a friend of yours, Rico? Not exactly. Mira Morales, this is Tom Sheldon. I've known him for 20 years. He cannot be trusted. Buena. And you're pleased to meet you. Uh, Rico and I were just discussing the situation with Zona Dos. And you know how to access the core? I don't know anything about the core, but I got a good idea how to get us past that lightning storm. Good luck with Annabelle, Sheldon. We'll figure something else out. He's got a plan, Rico. And we don't. Duck. Okay. Now there's a river that runs underneath the facility. I figure we use a boat to get close. You remember the Stingray base back in Medici? The same basic concept. Do you want to make a lightning-proof boat? Yeah, bingo. Now, I also hear there's a nearby research lab that's testing a way to harness lightning. Figure we find something there to protect the boat, spare us poor Annabelle's fate. You were talking about that facility in the mountains, Medio Lab. <laughs> you got it. And we could do the custom boat work at Prospero Astiero. Interesting. Yeah, coming around, aren't you? Why are you doing this, Sheldon? Well... Because I owe you, Rico. You want to take out Iapa? I want to help you do it. Besides, we both know we can't have just anybody running around with a weather weapon, for God's sakes. You got a better idea? Shit. That's what I like to hear. So, we meet up at Medio Lab when we're ready? Sounds good. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna shoot me. <laughs> Not this time, Sheldon. 